When Bilam HaRosha was looking down on the Machina Yisrael, he was searching for any fault, any defect, in order to curse the Bnei Yisrael. And what did he find? The Pasuk says, Vayar es Yisrael shoichin l'shvatav. He saw the encampment of Bnei Yisrael set up in an orderly fashion. And Chazal say their tents were in Pischeim mechuvanim zeh keneged zeh. Their te- the entrances of their tents were not facing each other directly. And this makes a lot of sense. If I were to set up my entrance in such a way where it would not face my neighbors, the motive would be very clear so that my neighbor doesn't see what's going on in my house, that other people shouldn't know what's going on by me. Everyone wants their privacy. But Rashi says differently. Rashi explains that the main motive of Bnei Yisrael that they should not have their entrances facing each other was that each person should not look into his neighbor's house. Not that his neighbor shouldn't look into his house, but that each one should not see what's going on by his friend. We know that one of the greatest sources of depression, of sadness, of jealousy, is when a person focuses on what's going on by other people. What do they have? What's happening by them? That curiosity leads to jealousy, and jealousy leads to feeling down, feeling empty, and feeling that we're missing something that other people have. Instead of being happy with what we have, we tend to focus on what we're lacking based on what other people do have. Chazal already told us, Ezehu Asher, who's a truly wealthy person, Hasameach Bechelkoi, one who's happy with his portion. I believe the Chazal are also telling us a hint of how one could be truly happy, and that is by focusing on Chelkoi, focusing on the gifts and the the matanis, the precious gifts that Hashem gave to each one of us. Hasameach Bechelkoi, focusing on Chelkoi, not to look by other people, but rather focusing on what we have in our own Oihel, what we have in our own lives, Begashmias and Beruchnias. When we can focus on that, we can then learn to appreciate it and have a source of true Simcha. This is a time when everyone's confined to their homes, and it's totally normal to feel frustrated and feel like we have to get out. But on the other hand, we have to learn and see something positive from this, these restrictions. And that is, We're forced. We have no choice. We have to focus. We have to be attentive to what's going on in our own home and not what's going on in other people's home. We're not allowed in other people's homes. We have to be appreciative of what we have, of chelkoi, and that will lead to true simcha. So let's take this opportunity to be focused be attentive and appreciate what's going on in our own oil, and that will lead to a lasting and constant source of Simcha.